When using the Z Modeler brush, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Polygon Z Modeler menu. Locate the Delete action. With the Delete action, you'll notice you have a wide range of targets you can choose from to apply the Delete function with. By default, this is set to delete a poly. Clicking on any poly on your model will delete the poly from your model. Alternatively, you can use the alternate Z Modeler temporary poly group to also delete polys on your model. By simply holding Alt and dragging out areas on your model, and then applying the delete a poly, you can delete surfaces in that way as well. Some other targets that may be useful with the Z Modeler are targets such as Poly Loop. When using Poly Loop, you'll notice that there is a line drawn on the poly. This line will determine which poly loop will be deleted. If the line is going vertical like so, clicking Delete Poly Loop will delete the poly loop in this fashion. If the line is going horizontal, clicking Delete Poly Loop will delete it in this fashion. Another useful item for the actual delete function is to use with the bridge. So coming through and selecting Delete a single poly, marking out areas on your model to delete, and then coming in with the bridge two holes function to come through and bridge areas on your model. Using these delete functions, you can come through and remove any areas on your model that might be unnecessary or unwanted.